the next morning. Hello, welcome to my first ever 1.20 series. I'm going to call this world Cozy Dragons. As you can see, there's two right behind me in the clouds. All right, let's get started. First things first, I want to check the map really quick here and see what's surrounding us. Ooh, some jungle, forest, savanna, plains. While we're looking for a new place to stay and some sheep and a tree to punch, I'd like to explain my goals for this series. So this series, I want to keep kind of relaxed and play around with some of the fun mods I added, like the hats or the armor mods and the dragons one. It's called Useless Reptiles. So I figured it looked really fun. I want to try it. I haven't fully checked out the mod yet, but what I get from it is I can use it for travel and that's what I'm going to base this whole world around is traveling by dragons, training dragons, stuff like that. Of course, punch in the tree. We need to get our starter tools and stuff to get prepared. I'm also going to keep some saplings of this because I have a build in mind using birch. I know you, but with the Mizuno's pack that we're using, it's actually really pretty. And I'm also going to use the Orite. I know, bird poop. But it's going to work with the build. And of course, we need to make our crafting bench. And of course, I got to organize. I'm a little neurotic. <laughs> All right. So first things first, wooden pickaxe. And I see some coal just past here. Don't mind if I do. Some of this for more tools. Actually, I'm gonna make the stone pickaxe first. That makes more sense for gathering quicker. Also, I forgot to mention, this is my first time trying out 1.20, so I wanted to go find some camels and try out the archaeology and stuff like that. i got to make a pot too. I'm so excited about the new additions. And the cherry wood is so beautiful and so cozy. I can't wait to build with that. Although the starter house that I'm planning to build is a little bit different from that. I'm not using the regular cherry wood like it. I want to actually incorporate the leaves instead because I think they're so pretty and we have the mod to make them bushy. So exciting! I think this area might be good for our starter base. It's kind of like a lake type thing. I'm looking for some kind of like a high mountain thing. The theme that I want to go for is kind of like a mixture of cottage core and mountain like cabin type thing. I'm not sure actually. We'll wing it and see how it goes. Just up ahead, I can kind of see some cherry blossoms, which is really exciting. I think that might be the place where we'll build. But first, we need to find some sheep because I don't want to be running around at night with zombies and skeletons and stuff chasing me right off the bat. Some piggies. Nope, we don't want you. You can live today. This area is kind of pretty too, but it's a little different from what I want to build in. We might end up expanding here later anyways. Who knows? I see some cows. We're finding everything but sheep right now. Maybe at the top of this hill. Let's see if there's sheep up there. Go figure, when you first start, you can never find sheep right off the bat. If we stick to this area, we're definitely gonna have to make some stairs and do some terraforming. My poor Minecraft legs are getting so tired. This is definitely a long way up. I really, really hope there's some sheep up here. Oh, I'm so tired already. <laughs> Got this. <laughs> you get there eventually. Hello, piggy. The piggies on this Mizuno's pack are so cute. Hmm. 
Wow, this cherry blossom biome is so pretty. And this one's actually pretty big. Ooh, a sheep. But you are the wrong color. You may live today. Yes, finally, a white one. Come to me. Oop. And you too. You must sacrifice your wool to the greater good. The greatest good. Just one more to go. Come on, sheepies. I know I'm getting distracted. I may as well grab some of this while we're at it. And I love this mod, the tree harvester. It replants and everything. Oh my god, there's cherries! What the? Yay, we don't have to look for food at least for a while. That gave us so many. That's awesome. Ooh, some sweet food. It gives a speed boost too? This is awesome! Ooh, gotta watch out for that lava. I'll come back there later though. Now where was I? I was getting so distracted. All these pretty plants and... Whoa! See? Wrong color though. Oh, -ho! there you are my precious. Come to me. Your sacrifice shall not be forgotten. I claim this spot. And... I'm going to temporarily call it... Ooh, blue is definitely the color. I'm going to call it Sweet Home for now. We can f maybe think of a better name later on. Let's do a little bit more gathering here. I'm going to do most of it off camera though because I like listening to audiobooks and it just helps the grind go so much faster. Ah, the namesake of Minecraft. I'm gonna start a mine right here because we need to get lots of diamonds. I'm also gonna grind that out. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider so that, well, at least in the beginning, I'll taper it off. But that way we can make it look pretty later on. Maybe not now, because we got mining to do. I really miss my 3x3 three three excavators and hammers. From the other season. Minecraft really needs to implement those. That would be so handy. But alas, here we are, block by block. That's fine. It's kind of relaxing. I know this is random, but I think I saw a ship right here on the map. And if we get a ship, that means treasure, and treasure could mean that we get iron. And if we get iron, I can pick up diamonds easier right off the bat. I can always grind for iron later. Yay, there is actually one here. That's awesome. Let's see what it has to give. Please be a treasure map. Please, please. Also, we have this looter mod, just in case this joins at one point in time. She likes to steal all the treasure. <laughs> so it, <laughs> it makes it easy for everybody to get. I'm really terrible at reading maps. I think we need to go southeast, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. We won't know until we get closer. I'm, ooh, dark oak? I think we need to stop and get some of this. It might be cute for our build too. I'll get enough saplings so we can plant some more at our base when we get there. Evening. 12 seconds later.
But I think we finally made it to the spot. Hopefully, it's not too much digging to get. Although we do need sand for glass. So, we'll find it eventually. I think it's down here. I should have brought another spoon. This might take a while. Future editor me, cut it to the end. Finally, we have found the treasure. Hopefully, it gives us all the stuff we need. Let's see. Oh, what are these? I guess we'll have to see later. Uh -oh. We're back in the mines, and I see a mine shaft down there. We'll get to it later, though. For now, let's take a look. See, scary noises down here. Oh, creeper! Not today, Satan. May as well grab this. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. We almost lost it. <laughs> Whoopsie! Gotta be more careful next time. What we don't see can't hurt us. Now, to grab all this. Hopefully it doesn't fall like the last one. Yes, we got it. Now let's head down and see if we can't get to that mine shaft. Ooh, long way down. Finally, we made it. Let's see if we can make a cheeky grab and get all this stuff. Where something attacks us. Ooh, melon seeds. Stink. Nope. Oh, another one. Let's grab this too. Ooh, glow berries. Don't mind if I do. Grab everything. Waste not, right? How convenient. There's a geode right below our base in our mine. Ugh, hate when that happens. I'll we'll just grab a few things from here. I love that noise. So pretty. We may as well grab some of this while we're in here. Maybe I can make a spyglass later. You know, to see things from far, far away. <laughs> and if Sis joins, maybe we spy on her too. <laughs> we'll have to make an enchanting setup and try for silk touch later on. Get some of these. Some lapis. Yoink. This will come in handy later on once we set up our enchanting table. Oh, the redstone we could take for our machine building needs. I'll probably build a few farms, just starter ones to begin with. Maybe get some villagers to trade with. Finally, some diamonds. Our first mined ones. Woohoo! We may as well stay down here and grind a little bit, and then I will skip back once we get enough for our armor and stuff and some tools. May take a while. Gotta love when you find these extra hidden ones here and there. Oh my goodness keeps going. Ah, our chest monster is growing slowly. Expanding. Trying to keep it somewhat organized, but it'll get messed up eventually before we get our storage. Now let's set up some temporary ugly farms for our sugar cane. That way we can make enough paper for our enchanting table later on. Ah, I can't wait for this to be automated. I miss my old world already. And don't worry, we're gonna be moving these and cleaning up this area eventually anyways. Just temporary. Twenty minutes later.
Okay, we're back in the mines. We need some obsidian to upgrade these mob catcher cage things. With the mod, it'll make it way easier for catching cows later. This takes so long. I can't wait to enchant this stuff. Yay! Achievement! I figured these are relatively easy to upgrade, so why not just have the permanent ones instead of the one-time use ones? This will definitely make capturing mobs for our farms a lot easier. Alright, let's go find some cows. Whoop whoop! Hello, cow number one. Get in my box. <laughs> Yay, we got an advancement from that. That's pretty cool. Cow number two. Get in my box. Back to the farm. It's starting to grow quite nicely. We'll read up these guys for some books for our enchanting table. More paper. Okay, so I've spent some time gathering materials off camera. I think we're ready to tear down these farms and start clearing out the area and making our starter base finally. Yay! Let's go to the time lapse. Well, I think that turned out pretty cute in the end. I hope you like it. And if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. It'll really help me out a lot. Also, next episode, maybe we'll go after some dragons. Hopefully we can find them. I know they're in the swamp somewhere. Anyways, toodaloo guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.